we're going to try and remove some large hooks that are caught on a grey nurse shark. One we're really concerned about is the top one, which is right next to the eye. We want to see how much damage is done to that eye. We want to minimise the damage while we're trying to remove that. This is the um, clear sock that we will actually herd the shark into, so where we can actually do the final restraint of the animal underwater. Um, so it's nice and big and clear so they don't see it as a threat. We'd found the shark. Uh, she was actually in very shallow water where it was very murky. Hope and I were shadowing her, one either side, getting her to head towards the sock. We got her really close, like frustratingly close to, to the sock. It was incredibly frustrating. I think it's, they were difficult conditions that we were working in today. We thought she was going to swim in and she did a, a sharp turn and sort of took off into deeper water. You do feel responsible um, when you can't you know, get her on that first attempt or that second attempt and you know that you've only got a you know, third attempt to go. So it is frustrating. But obviously we're prepared for these kind of eventualities. The beauty of Grey Nurse and this location is that they, they tend to hang around. So we tried different things. The guys came up with all the um, different ways of doing it. They moved the sock to different places. Um, we used a lot of energy moving it and, and, and of course we used a lot of air as well so we were running out of time overall. We had agreed that we were on our last attempt for the animal and that if we were within sight of the bag that Rob would attempt to try and grab her and then my role in that is to actually grab him and just help him swim. We set a bottom time limit for the dive and we're on to the last minute of that bottom time. There is a sense of relief. There is also that sense of like, this is just the beginning. We didn't know the extent of the injuries, how embedded these hooks were going to be. The most important part of what we're doing, even though it's probably the part that takes the least time. It, it took hours to catch the, the shark and it took a minute to fix the problem. <laughs> these are the ones. They're really quite nasty. There's three of them and each of them was hooked into this animal. Once our vet had successfully removed the hooks, we administered some antibiotics and vitamins just to, to help her along with those wounds. We transferred her back into the stretcher and then back off the back of the boat and she swam off just beautifully. It's an amazing feeling to see them released you know, without a hook and to see her swim off strong and healthy and feel like we're contributing back to that wild population and that's why we do what we do. If you're a predator, you need both your eyes and that's what we're hoping to do today is make this animal more effective so it can survive because there aren't many of them around. To suddenly see that shark swim off and look so healthy at them was amazing. We'll probably do some follow-up dives over the coming weeks and months uh, and just keep a track on how she's going. If you remove too many of these predators, you're going to have other problems flowing on from it. So it's for us as well, so that we get the environment right and we get the animals right.